Hey darlings, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to be giving you guys a tour of our camping bus. So as many of you guys know, I recently went on vacation and we went on a camping vacation. And this is actually my first time doing camping in a camping bus, I usually do camping in a tent but this experience was just so new and so exciting for me and i really wanted to just kind of give you guys um to just kind of share this with you all so i went ahead and i asked my in-laws if i could film their camping bus i know some of you may have not done camping before and you were maybe just curious to find out like what is it like staying in a, ca staying in a camping bus and they were so kind to oblige they gave me permission to just film it for you all for the whole youtube to see so i'm so grateful and i would really appreciate it if you guys go ahead and you give this video a thumbs up it would mean a lot to me and i'm sure it would also mean a lot to them to know that you guys enjoyed this video and that you like their camping bus so thank you so much for tuning in and without further ado let's jump into the video so guys we're starting this off at the doorway so you guys need to take off your shoes before you enter take off your shoes okay so we're entering the camping bus this is what it's looking like right now with all our stuff just kind of laying around our towels and just everything but i'm going to insert a scene um without my things just laying around like this just to kind of give you guys an idea of the space that we have here because it's a good amount of space as you guys can see this is how it looks without our stuff laying around just with the blankets that are there and the table and just the entire space right here so this is basically the living room area the living room and the dining area and this is how it looks in the night when we turn on the roof light oh and guys i have to mention that my father-in-law made this bus himself of course not the the outside of the bus because you guys can see that's a regular bus but i mean put this entire thing together himself like the kitchen the bathroom the bedroom i just everything you know like my husband he's quite resourceful so yeah i just had to say that so right here there's a window and it has a blind or a sunshade thing there you can just squeeze it here to just open it or to just let in some light and you can also just open the window completely to let in fresh air so here we have the plugs where we charge our phones and our ipad and stuff like that and this is how the lighting system is so in this first cupboard we have some books and brochures my in-laws just put all of these stuff there like magazines and stuff that you want to check out when you're going on a vacation like places in the nearby area that we can go to or just recreations that we can participate in and down here on the table i keep my bible and my journal my devotion journal the table can be opened out completely so this is basically where i would do my devotions in the morning during the night down here on the floor we have some mats my mother-in-law like packed extra mats here for us to use if we need to we have a scooter here and underneath here we have more utensils and food containers um frying pans etc and i'm just showing you guys right here the blinds or the shutters they just close these when we're inside of the bus so we don't have a problem if we need to change our clothes or anything like that or we just want to not let in so much light so i'm just showing you guys quickly how that operates to just squeeze it in the middle and then it will just slide Here we have some gloves and masks and over the other side um shopping bags so like i told you guys this is the living and dining area and what makes it so cool is that these chairs can actually turn around the seat that you sit in to drive can turn all the way around like it, you guys see it here right now so i want to show you guys here the table is able to fold up yeah so this is how it looks it's so convenient and it's just so comfortable and lovely so right here now is a little passageway going towards the kitchen and the bathroom but i'm going to show you guys the kitchen area first oh and i always try to make sure that i push in these buttons before we start driving because if we don't then the drawers the drawers can come open while we're driving and in this drawer we have the eating utensils Over here we have basically like teas, spices, other tools that you may need to use in the kitchen such as scissors and stuff like that. The middle drawer and the bottom drawer just basically have more pots, pans, uh, 
so this is what the stove looks like guys it is so cute so neat i'm just like i was in a different world like i told my husband that this bus was like the vacation for me i would just like stay in here the entire day in my little dream world it was just so much fun so exciting it's like this really tiny house on wheels can you imagine that that's just really exciting time for the refrigerator guys this is the refrigerator right here it's actually a decent sized fridge you guys can see i have a lot of stuff in here and i told you guys that i was watching my dad because i didn't want to have fast food and guys i'm so proud of myself i did really well on this trip i have not eaten fast food one day on this trip so you guys can see right underneath here i made some potato salad and i took it with me so i was able to eat that when i was hungry um during the drive and i didn't have to stop at any drive through and one of you also suggested that i pack fruits and stuff like that with me and you are so on point like we're thinking alike because i did actually carry the fruits that were in my fridge um from home i just packed them in the fridge so down here we have like the surplus of like water or juice i also put my my handbag underneath there one of my handbags i kept it underneath there so up here in this cupboard we have like um blender what do you call it again a juicer so you can do your juicing even while you're on vacation we have something for making coffee we have glass straw up there we just have like appliances that my mother-in-law thought were necessary she stocked them here so we can just live like we would normally live at home we have like everything to our convenience here i just had to share it with you guys and i'm just hoping that you are enjoying this video so far and if you are please go ahead give it a thumbs up over here we have like plates and we have some cups over here and this is basically it for the kitchen area no 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 we have over here another cupboard i almost forgot and in here we put like all our dried food and snacks So guys over here is like so cool and so cute it's a tiny um we call it all-in-one compact bathroom area it's like a wet room it's called a wet room so you have the toilet and everything in the one area and you can get the entire thing wet up here we also have a vent But here we have a, a little medicine chest and here i am right here hey guys so i'm just showing you guys quickly inside of the medicine chest so i'll give you guys a quick flashback to another scene right here you guys can see i hung a towel right there and this is what the face basin looks like when it's opened up. So I showed you guys it before, before it was opened up. And this is how it looks when we open it up. And this is the same, this white pipe is the same thing that we use when we're showering. You can just pull it out all the way like this. I actually showered in here on the morning of me filming this video. So this was like the first day of my vacation. I told you guys it's a wet room. I don't know why I didn't lift up the rubber to show you it. I think I will lift it up, but I will try to see if I can find a clip to put in right here. But this is what the shower looks like. So now it's time for the bedroom, guys. And this is our lovely bedroom. And you guys can see this is my same sheet from home. My husband would not leave his sheet. He loves his Marseille sheet. It's like um, his favorite football club. Over here we have more plugs so we can charge our phones at night. And underneath here we have some reading lamps as well and they're touch so you just touch on it gently and it would come on so we have two sets of closet over this side we have the smaller closet so we keep our like more personal and other smaller items in there i won't be showing you that side and over this side we have the bigger closets where we keep our larger items but i want to show you guys these quickly these are some soft cushion ipad and phone holders they were so handy and convenient in the nighttime and we would just be tired after walking for long hours we just literally lie down on the bed and watch everything so they were so convenient so my husband has his clothes in this one and 
over this side are my clothes and in the front right here i have this really nice clutch that i got for my sister years ago she made this for me personally so i always just take it with me whenever i'm going on vacation because it holds a lot of makeup and i can always just use it if i'm going somewhere and i need a small clutch bag so this is what it looks like and we have a sunroof right here so we can just open this fully and let in breeze or we can also leave the blinds closed that no leaves or anything will fall in or we can just close it completely and like close out the sun and everything so it's completely dark and just give you a vibe if you want to just fall asleep in the daytime or something So you have to fix by the bed quickly so it's not looking so crushed and yeah this bed is so comfortable guys so i give you guys a quick run through oh i always keep my bag right here my little um cross body bag and this is where we have our trash can in the kitchen right here just pull out this drawer and just throw the stuff in while you're cooking and cleaning up So my husband's around the back right now so i'm gonna go around there and show you guys what's going on on that side of town so around here is mainly for storage we just keep all our stuff around here that are too big or just you know like they just won't fit in at the front so we put all the shoes around here we have ex extra water and if we have more juice or anything, we'll put them usually around here. Right now, we mainly have just water. Around here, I put like one of the shopping bags with like paper and plastic trash. Also lift this up where we have more shoes. And over the left side, which I will not be opening right now, we usually pack in our table, chairs, top hauling that we put on the floor to kind of give us a little veranda outside. Everything like that will be packed away in here nice and safely. I will say though that camping vacation is not necessarily a cheap vacation especially if you're going with a camping bus because if you're to rent a camping bus it will cost you maybe a hundred dollars per day i'm not quite sure and then you have to fill it up to drive and everything um yeah it would be a lot cheaper if you go with a tent i have a video on my channel already where i went to venice when we did camping in, in the tent so i will link that one for you guys if you're interested in that so this is where we dispose of our garbage auto wash place around here here you can rent a bicycle and there's my husband come <laughs> This is an empty space right here is also an empty space it's more like a community where you have houses over this side and houses over this side it's kind of nice not kind of it's really nice that person left the door open so i can see inside <laughs> so the camping sites vary like hotels vary so this one in particular has a salon as you guys can see right here 
I like the adventure of going camping and being able to just pack up and drive to another camping site, which was one of the things that we did a lot on this vacation because as soon as the weather got bad in one city, we would just drive to another city completely in another country. Actually, we drove one day for about 10 hours to like two different countries. I would say if you have children, you should definitely try to take them camping at least once or twice because I'm sure they would love it. My husband would tell me stories of when he went on camping as a little boy and how much fun he had and he would meet like the most friends being on a camping vacation which you can't meet when you go to like a hotel for adults it might be really nice going to a hotel all the time but for children it's not the same experience right here on camping the children enjoy it so much because they're able to run around and play freely with other children that they meet on the vacation they're able to ride their bicycles or scooters and it's just a totally different experience it's like you're living in a community like a neighborhood i would say it's a different experience and i think you guys would love it if you have not tried camping before i do encourage you to try it out and let me know what you think and if you're someone who camps all the time go ahead leave it in the comments i would like to know about it what your experience is like how do you normally go camping or what do you prefer normally for your vacation and yeah just leave me a comment down in the comment section either way i would like to just hear from you guys what you think about this camping bus tour and if you enjoyed it and what you think about the the locations that i showed you guys so yeah that's basically it i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it was a bit of different types of things putting in the one video but i just really wanted to share this vacation with you guys as much as i possibly could and i have a video coming soon sharing my hiking trip in austria with you guys so i really hope if you guys are not yet subscribed to my channel that you would consider subscribing for that video it's coming pretty soon so yeah thank you guys so so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video